All right, so we have a DV4 uh, special edition here, and it happens to actually be a uh, Core Duo Windows 7 model. And what we see from uh, our client's explanation is that uh, the system doesn't power on. So we push the power button, we don't get anything. Uh, when we look here, none of the lights turn on and we do see that the power adapter has a green light so we know the power adapter is good and goes into the side here but it doesn't produce the uh, white light like it's supposed to so that being said we also see one thing this is a non OEM uh, Rayovac power adapter so it says it's 19 and a half and 90 watts but uh, that doesn't mean that it's actually the correct adapter for this system because HP's are so finicky you should have uh, an OEM HP adapter uh, just to make sure that you don't have a board level failure um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and try a standard uh, HP adapter on it and see if that changes things. If it doesn't change things, then what we're going to do is proceed on with the disassembly and uh, rework on it. But we'll go from there. Alright, so we have an HP DV4 right here. Um, problem with it is... We do not get uh, light on the side when we plug power adapter in. I'll try to turn it on. And we don't get any power to it uh, whatsoever. So what we're going to do is uh, break it down. And then we're going to check it from there. And see what can be done to uh, get it working. And we'll do that here in a minute. Okay, so now we've got the board broken down and uh, we can see that we still have no light and we have our meter hooked up to it we'll move this over here so we can do this right so we got this uh, meter here we're just going to check our voltage coming from the DC jack and we showed it we have 19 and a half like we're supposed to so we have we're going to check this inductor and with the inductor we get 19 and a half and the other side of the inductor we get 19 and a half so uh, we have two of them here one right here and one right here both of these act like fuses so we have power coming into the board power going across the board right here um, so what we need to do is trace it out and figure out where it's going most likely it's probably ending in this FET or on the other side of the board so we're going to check that out real quick, or quite possibly it's dying on this Maxim chip. So we're going to test a few things out to see where it goes, and uh, we'll get back to it here in a second. Okay, so now we're checking the other side of the board, and to check these, uh, these FETs, these eight leg FETs, what you need to do is figure out where VCC1 is, and uh, most likely that's going to be at... Uh, pin one so we're checking this and we're getting a voltage from it like we're supposed to on these uh, you know on the legs so we got 18.9 here and that's uh, on leg one on that one and then we have 19 and a half on this one so we know power is going on this side so what we're going to do is check the other side and see what's going on so we'll flip it back over and start where we started from just to check that side and see which fat may be dead on that side so what we're going to do is check this fed on this side and we're going to see what happens with it and uh what we're showing is 19 and a half on that one so we'll check the chip beside it and the chip beside it um, 
has power going into it and it shows the 1.24 that it's supposed to have but when we go and check the FET on the other side no matter what leg we check we're getting uh, a zero 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 on it so from this portion right here up works from this portion over here doesn't work so something traced out this way is not uh, doing what it's supposed to do so we're gonna have to pretty much localize our repair to here or on the other side and then we'll trace it out and figure out what's going on maybe this maximum chip maybe this uh, Toleroid, but we're going to go from there and figure out what's going on and then we'll continue with the repair. Alright, so before we start uh, pulling any chips off of here, we have a good idea that this uh, chip right here, the Maxim chip is working, but this uh, chip may be what's bad. Um, but we don't know if that's actual uh, complete cause because we have another board right here. We can hook this power up and get a voltage registered on this one so we have no voltage registered on this one so that may be true may not be true but what we're going to do is reflow this chipset and reflow this chipset just to be safe and make sure that everything on it works um, as far as the chipset goes but uh, if that doesn't work then what we're going to do is end up changing out that uh, a leg MOSFET and see if that fixes it. So next thing we're going to do is just go to reflow and then work from there to see if that changes anything. Okay so now we've reflowed the system and we found out that the reflow didn't change anything uh, so it's not as short within the chipsets. So we're going to go back to our idea that it was this uh, uh, FET right here and pull that off the spare board that we have and exchange it on this one now just as a word of advice what we have here is this uh, hot air tool right here and this hot air uh, nozzle tool right here we'll be using this one because we have to be observant that this uh, fan connection and this uh, wireless connection right here doesn't get damaged so we're going to try to uh, localize it to here and see that we don't have anything happen and probably move pretty quick on it so what we're going to do is uh, just pull from the one and put to the other and then we'll go from there 